Hi, and welcome to Worldwide Drums. I hope this episode helps. Okay, our rope is off the drum. Our head is still on the drum. Now our head is off the drum. And this head is in pretty bad shape. So you've got two rings here. You have the flesh ring, which is attached to the goat skin. A lot of times, especially from Africa, these rings are just nothing more than welded re-rod. Uh, so what you want to do is, is pull that skin off of the ring and throw that away. Now we have just the ring of the drum. You want to inspect that to make sure that the weld is good. Um, sometimes we find that these welds are not very good and if you find that you have a, a bad pitted weld and it looks like it's just not very strong, you might want to take it to a local welding shop and just ask them to weld that. I've had situations where I put the ring back on the drum, I've tightened the skin and the ring broke. So just a, a, a little tip there to inspect that and make sure you don't have a bad weld. You don't see that very often. Once in a while you do see that. That's your flesh ring and this is your retaining ring. And you want to inspect that also. Make sure there are no frays in the rope. Make sure they're tied nice and tightly. We'll come back to that. The other thing you want to inspect is the drum. It's the first time you're going to be, the first opportunity you have to take a look inside that drum. And what we're looking for, we're looking for a nice, round, smooth bearing edge, they call this, and no splinters. If you see splinters and chipped wood, you can take a file, you can file that down a little bit. This, this ring, this bearing edge looks very clean. I wouldn't do anything to this other than wipe it clean. Maybe put a little shea butter around the edge. We sell the shea butter and worldwide drums, and you can just put that on your finger, and, and it helps seal up the drum, keeps the moisture in. Uh, usually I just dust out the inside. I don't spend a lot of time um, trying to get oil in there. These drums from Africa, Africa sometimes can be very splintered. Inspect the drum for cracks, the upper body. This, this drum doesn't have any cracks. If you found a crack, uh, what I recommend doing is the crack would be coming down the drum this way. The most important thing is to seal it. You're, it I don't recommend that you try to close up that crack and force it shut with wood glue, but just seal it because you don't want air coming out. What I, I just get bathtub caulking or some type of caulking and I just push it into the crack on the inside. You're done. It's good to go. It just keeps the air from escaping. When that air escapes, the sound is deader. So you don't want your drum to be dead. You want it to be lively and robust sounding. So no problems with this drum. No cracks on the bottom, and a good opportunity now to clean this drum, and I'm going to show you how to clean the drum.